Hey everyone, this is Martin from Tech Altar, and as I've promised you, it's flashing time. I'll be showing you how to get that shiny new stock Android AOSP Lollipop ROM on your Find 7 and 7A. So get your USB cables ready and no, you don't even need that. You just need a phone for it. It's going to be so easy. So let's get started. First of all is the question of where to download this ROM from. It's not been officially released yet, so for now you will have to ask for an invitation to the ROM and then you will basically automatically get the required files. As soon as a few last issues have been resolved, this release should go fully public and I will always update the links in the description of this video below. As with any update, you are advised to make a backup of all of your data first. Apps, contacts and other similar data will be lost, while files such as pictures and music should stay in place unless you're planning to switch partitions during the process, of course. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, so again, you're advised to make a backup of everything. While we are changing partitions, you have to make sure that you aren't using the wrong layout. Only non-unified storage or unified storage using the LVM method should be used for this installation. If you're using one of those two, you should be fine. At the same time, there is no 100% guarantee that everything will go well in the process, so only start with it if you're confident with flashing ROMs. The actual installing process consists of two parts, getting the latest ColorOS recovery first and then installing the actual stock Android ROM. For simplicity's sake, we will first install the latest ColorOS system here, 2.0.8, which automatically installs, you've guessed it, the latest ColorOS recovery. Actually, if you're running ColorOS 2.0.6 or later, you already have the newest recovery and you can skip step one by hitting this timestamp right here. If you are running an older version or you just came here to listen to me talking as long as possible, then let's start with step one. To install 2.0.8, download the file from link one in the description of this video. You can download it to any location on your phone, but I like to place it on the root of my phone and you're advised to do the same. This means you should put it on the topmost location in your internal phone storage and not into any subfolder. Once you're done with that, make sure your phone is charged above 30% and then turn it off completely. Reboot into recovery by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power button at the same time until you feel a vibration. Let go of the buttons and wait for the recovery to load. Choose your preferred language and first select wipe data and cache. Once that has finished, select install from SD, look up your file in the location you downloaded it to, in my case it's right here, and tap on it to install. This process might take you a few minutes, so be patient until you get a message prompting you to reboot. Let it turn on and now you have ColorOS 2.0.8 running on your phone. Easy peasy. The second part will practically be the same as the first one, just with a different file and our new recovery. So you should start with downloading the ROM again, this time from link number 2 in the description of this video. You can download it to any location on your phone, but I like to place it on the root of my phone and you're advised to do the same. This means you should put it on the topmost location in your internal phone storage and not into any subfolder. Once you're done with that, make sure your phone is charged above 30% and then turn it off completely. Reboot into recovery by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power button at the same time until you feel a vibration. Let go of the buttons and wait for the recovery to load. Choose your preferred language and first select wipe data and cache. Once that has finished, select install from SD, look up your file in the location you downloaded it to, in my case it's right here, and tap on it to install. This process might take a few minutes, so be patient until you get a message prompting you to reboot. Let it turn on and boom! You have now successfully installed the stock Android Lollipop ROM on your Find 7 or 7a in probably under 5 minutes using just your phone and that is awesome. I hope you will enjoy this lollipop just as much as you have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see what's coming on my tech altar the next time, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me at Google Plus and Facebook. And don't forget to watch my other video, which is basically a full review of this ROM right here. And I'll see you in the next one.